Hmm. Oh, let's go look. Hi there. My name's Jimmy Joe Know It All, and I was listening to you and watching you shooting, and I know why you're shooting off the side. See, I was on uh, Facebook and on some of the forums, and everybody will tell you that if you're shooting to the side, it's because you're using two step or two week of an arrow. Yep, I'm telling you that's what it is. So what you gotta do is you can either have to go out and buy some new arrows, or you're gonna have to change your weight points because that's what you're missing. See, it ain't your form. No, no, it's gotta be your arrows, okay? So don't forget, if you ever want more knowledge, you know, I'm here to help you. Because my name's Jimmy Joe Know-It-All, and uh, I'm a really good archer. All right, well, you have fun now, you hear? Hey everybody, welcome to Archery 101, Greg here. Hope you like my little skit. Um, fact or fiction time. Here's the myth. Is it fact or fiction? The reason your arrows are always off to the left or the right is because you're either using too heavy or too weak a spine. Right? I've seen this in the forums. I've seen it in real life. I've listened to people tell somebody that right off the bat. Somebody shows a picture of their shooting and they go, oh, your, your arrows aren't the right spine. How do you know that? There's so many variables in there just to go out and say that's it. And I was curious, you know, it got me thinking, that's why I'm making the video. I know that if you use a bear shaft, what they're saying is 100% true. And we're going to test that to just to show it to you. I use the exact same arrows. I use different points, which will weaken the spine or stiffen it. They don't land in the same spot. They've always gone doink, doink, doink. For me shooting left-handed, Ones with the lighter points are always to the right, and then I can bring them right on over. All right, it just works like that. But the question is, does the same hold true for an arrow with feathers? Because I'm telling you, my, I know these things right here, these things called feathers, they hide so many flaws. It is incredible. So will I get the same results with a bear shaft as I do with feathers. Because if the myth is true, it should be. And if it isn't, it's just gonna tell you, don't listen to all these people telling you if you're hitting to the left or right because your arrow is too stiff or too weak. That might apply to this, but does it apply to this? It's gonna be simple testing, 20 yards. I'm gonna shoot five arrows to this with 100, 125, 145, 175, and 200 grain heads. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for this. Let's see what happens. All right, let's get back and watch the testing. I'll come back and put it all together. All right, everybody, first test. Put a piece of tape down there 20 yards away. Now, if you watched the first part of the video, you know what I'm doing, but if not, like your name's like Keith Baker or something like that, I'll give you a quick review. GT Trads XTs, 600 spine, with different points, 100, 125, 145, 175, 200, and a Carbon Express Predator to 800 with a 125 grain point. I'm gonna put my arrow on that piece of tape, and we'll see where it goes, right? Now, if the myth is right, this is where it's right, because it really shows up in bear shaft. Huh? <laughs> All right. I don't know if the camera showed it, but I definitely seen it. It kicked up and why? Now, what am I using for a knock point? I'm using your standard one, just a tad bit above level. Not much. Hmm. That's a 145. All right, 175. Mm, I 
think that might have been me. That was 200. Now the 800 or the 125. The bow's 38 pounds, by the way. All right, let's go down and take a look, and then we're just going to repeat it two more times. All right, everybody, here we are downrange. Farthest to the right, 100 grain. The next one. 125. Now this one, I think that was me doing something wrong. Yep, 175. That is operator headspace and timing. 145. And slightly off to the side, 200. And all the way over here, high and to the left, is the 800 with the 125. Alright, so let's remember those. We'll come back and let's do it again. All right, everybody, round two. Not showing me shooting, that's just boring stuff. So, you know, it's pretty amazing. Bear shafts show every flaw. And these here, the height difference is variations of where I put my arrow. One time it's here, one time it's here. That's just me. So first arrow, once again, 100 grain point. Next one, 125 grain point. Next one in. 145 grain point. Next one in, 175 grain point. These two are pretty much equal, so it don't matter, so we'll do the next two first. 200 and, obviously, 800 125. Pattern starting to develop, isn't it? One more end, and then we'll be able to see what we get. All right, everybody, third end done. Without a doubt, a pattern has been established. Every end has landed almost exactly the same way and pretty much in the same spots. Right? So let's look at this. This here is the 100 grain point, which means it's what? It's the stiffest arrow. So if your arrow is hitting to the right, bear shaft, shooting left-handed, means you're shooting a stiff arrow. We confirm that, right? Everybody knows that. And put my arrow right about here. Right, all the way over, it's about 18 and a quarter inches off target. But by going up by 25 grains, I'm pulling it over to 14 inches away from the target, slightly um, weaker arrow, gained four inches. If I go to the 145, that's 14, 12, it's gonna put me about 10 inches off target. All right, 175 is going to put me about six inches off target. The 200 puts me almost exactly where I was aiming, about an inch low. And the 800 hit the paper over by an inch. All right, so the two arrows I would use would be the 600s with a 200 grain point, massive FOC, or a lighter arrow, the 800s with a 125 grain point. So, the myth, as it stands, oops, is correct, right? If you're shooting off to the side, it's because your arrow is too stiff. If your left hand is shooting to the right. If you're right handed, let's reverse it. If you're right handed, since most people are, if you're shooting to the left, your arrows are too stiff. If you're shooting to the right, your arrows are too weak. Vice versa for left. So, that part's 100% confirmed because those three ends, we didn't see any deviation from it. All right, everybody, you've seen the first test. On the second test, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to shoot them all randomly. Okay. This way here, I'm trying to stop me from like preconceiving, you know, pre doing, whatever. So let's see what we get. Well, whatever it was, it's close. I think that's more me than anything else.
think that was me because I'm afraid of hitting them. Just got to remember to focus on the point. What happens, happens. Let's go down and take a look. All right, here we are, our results. Good news, didn't break a knock. So the highest one, which was definitely, I think, me, I don't know, may not turn out to be the 100 grain point. All right, 800. One seventy-five. Let's go these two right here. I'll pull them both out at the same time. 125 and 145, so close, that's how close they were. And then this has to be the Mighty 200. All right, so we got the first one, and you can already see right off the bat, they went from here over to here. As Jeff Krug from the Knocking Point says, feathers are your friend. All right, pull them over, you can see developed a gap. That's not too bad. All right, a couple more ends. Okay, round two, look familiar? Remember that 100 was way over here in this area? I'm sorry, 18, right over here. Look what feathers does. All right, let's pull them out, see what we got. 175, 100, 145, 200, nicely in line, 800, pretty much in line. Actually, this one, 145. So I'm shooting about here. Remember before, we were over, <laughs> stretched all the way from here, all the way over. All right. Let's do a couple more and let's see what we keep turning up. Third group. Now, a couple things I noticed. You're going to see this one off the side. So it went in and hit a, a really solid point and just hung there. I was afraid it break it, so I came in and stabbed it down. Um, two right by each other again. So let's check them all out. 145, 125, 100, 175, obviously the 800, and the 200. Um, I found what has more of an influence than anything else is me looking. Your, your hands follow your eyes. And sometimes I'm here, but I see this subconsciously and it's pulling my hand up. And I had to pull it back down, so it comes with that variation there. But if you notice, I had variation this way, but not this way. All right, let's wrap it up. Let's see what we got. All right, everybody, you see the test. All right, what's my conclusion? Well, if you're shooting too weak or heavy of a spine of an arrow, will the arrow go left or right? Is that fact or fiction? Well, it's fact for a bear shaft. So you can see. Definitely the 100 grain arrows went heavily to the right by an average of 18 inches. But then, if you put feathers on them, it brought them right in line, so it is fiction when using feathers. So this is a rare case of one of each. Fact for bear shaft, fiction for feathers. All right, boys and girls, the whole purpose of the video was to give you information so when someone tells you that you're shooting too heavy of a spine or too weak of a spine with feathered arrows, you can say, well, wait a second, you know, that's, it's just not, not true. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time with an all-new episode of Archery 101.